What was your What were your first impressions, Bishop Rachel, as you came into the church? Absolutely amazing. You walk into the church and just surrounded by all these nativity scenes from all different parts of the world, made by different people. Um, you just literally walk in and it just hits you that how many scenes there are. And just having had a look around, they're all so different. So fabulous. Great. That's good, huh? Um, is there something that you'd like to say to the school children, their parents, mm. um, that might come to the festival? A word of encouragement? Or mm. A... Mm. Well, the first thing I'd want to say is particularly the children who've made some of these crib scenes. They're fantastic. Some of my favourite ones, the ones done by the children with the building blocks and the different scenes that have been coloured and painted. Um, I think one of the things that I'd really want to say is that, of course, all of these are telling a story. And at one level, they're telling the same story. It's the story of the very first Christmas, uh, when Jesus came uh, to show us what God is like and came in human form. Um, but they're also, although they're the same story, they're also quite different because everyone who's made them has got a story of their own. And as you go around and see the different, um, from different parts of the world, the different people who've made them, I found myself wondering what the stories were of the people who've made them and that actually God longs to be part of those stories of the people who've actually made them. So you're, am I correct in picking up from you that the story of Jesus being born 2,000 mm. years ago, it has some kind of implication, input into our world that is quite troubled? Today. Absolutely. And of course, the danger is that we look at all these crib scenes and we look at the story of that first Christmas and we romanticise it. And we think it was this little time in history. Some people don't even believe it was a true event in history. Um, but as a Christian, I want to say this was about God coming to earth to be with us. It was about God's rescue plan for a very broken world. And we know that Jesus grew up to show us what God is like, taught us uh, what God is like, and of course went on to a very painful place of actually being crucified. And of course that's what we remember on Good Friday. And Jesus went to that very painful death out of love for us, but then three days later came back to life. And I think what I want to say in our broken world is that death and darkness and despair will never have the last word that jesus love and hope are stronger than the darkness and i hope there's people go around these different crib scenes um, i would love people to be drawing confidence from that great hope of god's love and knowing that the darkness will never have the last word